I kind of want to go back to what you're talking about, about taking space and some solitude, because I feel like as creatives, people can be afraid to take space. and in 2021. Yeah. Whenever you're watching this. Right. And so I think like, I want to hear from you because Mm -hmm. I heard from you talk about it a little bit this morning, but I think a lot of those experiences that were hurtful to you when you took that space is where you were able to write songs out of that. Yep. So like, yeah, that's yep. good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So the importance of like, that's you know, so for your craft, you know, my mentor was telling me the other day, like, Hey Amber, if you don't have solitude in your life, you don't create. Nope. If you don't take space and time for yourself and you're not always with your friends and your family and doing all these things all the time, like you don't create. And you don't produce any of your art. And that, how sad is that, you know? But the so. temptation, though, fall mm-hmm. off, you're missing out. Definitely. Like, that's real. It's mm-hmm. always knocking. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So is would you say that, like, because you've taken that space, that's where you've been able to create a lot more? Or not what? just create, but just be myself again? Yeah. Mm. Like, I, not to be cheesy, but <laughs> I feel like how I did when I was in high school again. Like, yeah. that's... Even though I did say I was, like, an underdog and I was insecure, like, I mean, I'm always insecure because I'm human. Sure. But, like, right. there was a peak moment my senior year where I was excited to come here and be, like, independent. Yeah. And mm. I feel like that again. Like, That's I feel good. That excitement. That I'm excitement excited. and yeah. the zest for life. Yeah. That's good. And I feel that a lot of that was because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do what everyone else is going to mm-hmm. do. Because I felt like here there is a strength of the community but mm-hmm. at the same time it's also a weakness because mm. there are people here who don't understand like what we're talking about the difference between isolation and solitude absolutely and they get in that headspace of like mm-hmm. oh why don't they want to hang out with us yeah oh, she thinks she's better than us and it's like no right. homie. It's like, <laughs> leave me alone, like, leave me alone. <laughs> homie, i work in retail and i have right. a headache yeah. <laughs> that's trying real to right just trying honestly to go to sleep. I hear that. yeah yeah no, that's real that's been my season in this yeah season. yeah i've been busy yeah i've been Whew. busy yeah I'm busy yeah. but no that and also too it's like i I learned that I can't love others if I don't love myself and Ooh. take the time to know yeah. myself. Ooh, yeah, that's a word. Literally, like, be alone and learn and formulate my own opinions mm-hmm. first and then go be with others and contribute. Yeah. I also heard that a relationship should not be your life. It should add to your life. Mm-hmm. And I was observing that a lot in, like, the circles and, like, people that I was doing life with that I did and did not want to do life with was that (laughs) they were like making relationships of any kind their life Mm -hmm. and were not taking into consideration that a relationship and just the opportunity that we get to have moments like this is actually a blessing Mm. and we should not take for granted like the company and the fellowship of being with one another because it can literally be taken away at any second right it's a privilege yeah Yeah. and that was so scary what's the word it's not a right it's a privilege and it was so scary to watch and still watch people that Mm -hmm. i no longer associate with Mm-hmm. think that I owe them time. Like, that's mm-hmm. so scary. Yeah, that's, that's so true. scary. You're preaching. Yeah, yeah. You're preaching. We were talking about we have a friend, right? <laughs> Nameless. But, like, literally, <laughs> you know, so yesterday we went, to, I had a coffee date scheduled with somebody, a girlfriend of mine, and then I just brought her. <laughs> I just came along. It was like, fun. And I told her, I said, hey, listen, like, she doesn't have to sit with us. Amber doesn't have to sit with us, but, like, if you're cool with it, I'd love for y'all to really, like, meet each other. Because where I'm from, the West Coast, my neighborhood growing up, everybody was invited. Like, mm-hmm. it was no, like, let's hang out, like, three hours alone. Like, unless you're boyfriend, girlfriend. That's different. Well, but, like, you know what I mean? It was just like, yo, we're coming to the, the barbecue. You want to come? Get in the yeah. car. Like, it wasn't Not, There wasn't, thought. like, an exclusive attitude. And it wasn't like, oh, we had to go away. Like, and that's so funny that people who, like want to be isolated, have something to say when you don't want to be isolated, then they want to say, why are you isolated? Yeah. Like, what are you self-projecting for? Mm -hmm. But anyways, she was totally cool with it, but we have a friend that, like, if you schedule, and I mean, uh, this can go all ways, right? Like, if I'm looking forward to my time with you, Mm. I might not want someone there, I get it, but, like, all the time this friend is like, why is she here? Yeah, if I just show up and we're... Even if she comes to our home, where we both live together, together. (laughs) she'll look at me and be like, why is she here? She lives here. <laughs> yeah. You came to our house. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I just said, it's just interesting. Out here. Yeah. She has a room here. I don't know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sips tea. <laughs> but you know. Uh, so anyways. <laughs>